Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So I've gotten a lot of requests to do Pearson reaction videos, whether it's the fails or just Pearson videos in general from like famous YouTubers, but I've kind of seen it all and I feel like my reactions wouldn't be very good or entertaining. So instead I have brought in my boyfriend who is not in the Pearson world, has not seen things, does not know of anything. So I feel like his reactions might be a little bit more entertaining. Meh. Yes. Meh. For those of you who do not know, this is my boyfriend, Luke. He is the host of the YouTube channel, Rocked. He'll give a little spiel at the end about his channel, but he has so graciously joined me today to react to a Pearson fail video, and I really hope he gives us some good reactions. She put an ankle lock on my ankle and said it'll blow up if I don't do this video with her. I'm not that mean. Am I gonna throw up? No, I don't think you'll throw up. You Am just... I gonna see blood and guts and goop and pus and ooze? You might. Oh, I'm, Gretchen. I mean, that's part of the Pearson ball game. Luke, well, can, I, can you come over so I can gross you out for a couple minutes? It's only 10 minutes, come on. Oh. So this video was sent to me a few times by subscribers. It's, it's a pretty popular one. I know several other people within the Pearson community have reacted to it before. And so I figured I would show that one to my darling boyfriend here. <laughs> okay, it's, it's like a dermal. Yes. Deep breath in. Okay, it looks normal so far. I will say that this is why I'll never get a dermal. I mean, at least he's using rubber gloves. Fair, good. This doesn't look that bad. He's really digging in there, sheesh. Yeah, and that's not supposed Jeez, to Jeez, pal, like go risk deep in there, ugh. Like she's- A little rough on her. What are you doing? It's not Play-Doh. You don't just knead with your hands, with your knuckles deep. What's going on here? Yeah, he's going pretty, pretty hard with her. You could touch her backbone at that route. And there's a little kid screaming. Yeah, I'd be screaming too, Junior. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the fact, like, he's taking it out. I mean, she's pretty. All right. Ugh. Yeah, ah. Well, enjoy your scar tissue. Oh. Oh, that's gotta feel tor terrifying. Yep. Can I look at it? So, like you said, it should not be that rough. Like, dermals, dermals are difficult in general. I've worked in operating in. rooms. Yep. I have seen less force in there yeah. than that. What yeah. was he doing? He was trying to get it in, but it's, clearly didn't know how. Sometimes like he was trying to do CPR, like the hand compressions and stuff there. All I know is that girl was a badass for, or, or a hard ass or something for trying to stay do that. I felt really bad for her. Some lady sitting on a chair. So this is an at-home piercing. I can tell it's not in a, a hygienic area. No. It's at someone's kitchen? Yes. Or office or something. Both. I'm oh, I'm so nervous. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> oh, to the cheek? Or the nose? No, she's just pulling that. What's she doing? No gloves. I can't tell what she's piercing. It's through the, uh, the, uh, the mm -hmm. lip. She's gonna have a permanent Elvis. Oh. Tee hee hee, I'm scarred. What the heck's wrong with these people? Oh my gosh. It's like a hockey player got his teeth knocked out. Don't die. Did she just straight up don't die? Oh. Like, even that's bad for me. Is the friendship over? Just the fact that she's laughing through the whole thing. <laughs> I'd be like, get out. I'm asking you this because you're the aficionado on this. Would you prefer at home or Claire's? Depends on It's a piercing emergency. You have 10 minutes to get a piercing. You have to choose Claire's or at home. You can't go to your nice place. Depends on who's doing it at home. Okay, so if you was someone you trusted, you it would was... go at home first in an just in your kitchen or bathroom before you go to Claire's with a gun. Yes, because okay. I would probably go out and buy the means okay. to do the piercing. So you home. still say home over Claire's. And I'd get my mom to do it because she used to do that when Again, she was someone in you know. Okay. So all so, depends on who you know. I would never and, do Claire's. Okay, fair enough. For anything. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Oh, this is like a little sister thing. What's she biting down on? A towel. Gonna rip her ear off like Velcro. The fact that she's saying I don't want to do it anymore. Isn't and that a, a, a sign? Are you it? What it's is. Like, are you Man, they are stalling really hard. Mm -hmm. 
All done? What's in her ear? Excellent question. What does she do? We'll never know. Did she straight up lose the needle? You don't ever want your piercer to start crying. So what did she do? No clue. Obviously not something she should have done. Was she like trying to like do like a, not industrial, like just like pierce the, um... Just, just regular like Helix person. What could she have done so bad that she started crying like that? She says she lost the needle. I mean, I couldn't really tell. Did she there. slide it in the skin? A possibility. Ugh. Mm -hmm. It's like prison piercings. So is he getting a dermal? Not technically. Though that would be a better option, probably. He's getting that matrix thing in the back of his neck. Wow, he's going deep. Yeah. That's like tissue. Yeah. Uh, it's it's way... instant red. Yeah. The skin it's... is already like inflamed. It's way too deep. Uh, you can hang him like a coat hanger with that at that rate. Ooh. Yeah. Way too deep. And putting a bar in there. Yeah, that's. Okay, don't lift your head up for three weeks. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll bet you're feeling not good, pal. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I blew it, son. You're never gonna be the same. No, that, that's way too deep. Invest in good collar shirts so this never shows. I mean, kudos to them for wearing gloves. Awesome. Does it hurt? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Free of charge. That was definitely way too deep. Is there any way for that to be repaired? Will that heal naturally if you take out the bar? I mean, the only problem with that is sometimes infection can get in there. Oh. So like, if you find that your piercing is getting infected, the automatic response is to take it out, which you don't want to do, because then when the holes start to clump, an infection can get caught in there. So that's not exactly what you want to do. Even just like in the shower, wouldn't that mess you up with having the running water on it? It can. Uh, and where was that? Was that an actual pl like parlor? Or I'm pretty sure that was an actual place. I mean, it looked uh, like it. I don't know, but looked uh, like it. At least it wasn't in the kitchen. Is this a nose piercing? Mm-hmm. All right, let me grab your nostril with my... So clamps are sometimes used. Not right. always, but sometimes. I get that. But we're also... Oh, they got that giggly friend just watching. And there's also no gloves. Ugh. Just in between the lines. I don't get it. <laughs> oh. It's like a circus trick. That's a big needle. I see blood. Uh huh. Well, let me get a little Q-tip and smear the blood on you like you're my enemy. So they took it back out. Right. Which is also horrific. Aren't you supposed to go all the way through? Yeah. And complete? Keep going. Make okay. sure you get the same hole, lady. Also, are we in a public bathroom? That's kind of what it looks like. It's not at a shop, I know that. It looks like those look like the stalls back there. Is this what girls do in the women's bathroom and why they take so long? That look like some like high school girls like skipping study hall, going to the bathroom and be like, hey, we pierced my nose. Then you come back. <laughs> I lost a bet. <laughs> It did look like a bathroom stall, but why would you bring that stuff in with you? Kimmy said she had the kit. <laughs> I stole the kit from Claire's. Now we can do it whatever, wherever we want. Oh, this is already a problem. Look at his face. Oh, damn. Where's the piece? Where's the piece? So they pierced it uh -huh. and didn't feed it through with jewelry. Obviously, this is at someone's home because. Yeah, I see a toilet. Oh, no, that's a blender. They're in the kitchen. Oh. I look like a toilet back. Okay, he's so, he's tough. He's yeah. a trooper, or he's drunk, or both. Usually these things happen when people are drunk. Pierce it again. Again, bro, give me a monster. <laughs> That's how I'd be a touch people. upset too. That's how you should all always talk to your friends. Also, did he really expect anything that much better? And now he's bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Um, can you pick me up? I'm scared. That's a mean girl's joke. <laughs> oh, mom's gonna ground me. That's why you don't get drunk and suggest things at parties. Let me see that fish hook. Let me try something. Where's my mom's sewing kit? <laughs> she won't know. Anyone got a thumbtack? <laughs> 
uh, push, isn't it the push pins and the coke boards? All right, one, two. Can you just leave that in, you know, the little, little It will just gem sticking out, it? yeah. It's fine, good, it's like, good stuff. You don't even need to buy jewelry. Okay, these have been weird, but they haven't like disgusted me yet so far, okay. so. These have been weird, but they haven't s completely grossed me out. Is she doing it to her knuckle or her to middle her, finger? To her finger. Okay, but dazzling your finger. So. Well, and again, this is a case where it should be a dermal. If you're going. Yeah. To this is them taking a clamp and shoving a. Yeah. Man, that is deep. Yeah. That's like almost to the bone. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, no gloves. Eh. Clearly not done by a professional. Ugh. Uh huh. Can you imagine? Dermal makes sense, at least. Oh, that is such a thick hole. Yeah. Why would you? Ugh. And Isn't I'll it all better? And doesn't that look so nice? No, looks like you had like a shrapnel accident. Just the pain of like mm -hmm. knocking your hand against something. Well, and the fact that they took a clamp and were trying to pinch enough, but to get enough skin, it's just not That enough. was deeper than that though. Like yeah. she was getting like right to the bone, like scraping it like chicken. Mm -hmm. So what'd you think? I get the whole wanting to do it at home with someone you trust, but if mm -hmm. you clearly don't feel comfortable or don't trust them mm -hmm. and it's already going on in the first few seconds, why would mm -hmm. you keep going? Because you just gotta have that piercing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's cheaper to do it at home. Ugh. Mm -hmm. So we're, so is everything. That doesn't mean you should. My Radiance. tonsils are bad, Gretchen. Can you take care of this for me? I'm not paying an ER bill. No! Mm -hmm. You go somewhere. You get what you pay for. No, you get a doctor's visit. You get, you have to pay eventually. I feel the worst for the neck guy. Yeah, that was brutal. And the finger guy. Well, even the first one where she was getting the dermal. Yeah. You could tell that he may have been a professional and- Or really done, hated that woman. And and could have done other piercings, yeah. but clearly didn't know- You turned down my friend Todd for a date. <laughs> Looks like he hated that girl. It was obvious that he didn't know what he was doing. Or he really hated that girl. Or he really hated that girl. Sheesh, he was going to town. Make sure this piercing stays in. It's worth it to pay the 50 bucks to go to a piercing and tattoo place? Very much so. I learned that if it's already starting to hurt before the process has begun to stop. And even if your friends are saying stop, you should probably stop. I've learned not to do it in a bathroom stall. I think <laughs> I knew that though. I didn't learn that. No. I knew that. Most people with a brain know that. Also, the kitchen is not the place. No. I would have even said that. Well, and even the girl where she was bleeding profusely from <laughs> the Obviously, they hit a vein. Ugh. Yeah, and that's that's what that was. They that's hit a, a vein. Well, that's a urgent care visit, though. Yeah, like Ugh. sometimes you'll see professional piercers. They know where the veins are, but sometimes they'll shine a flashlight. Right, they're supposed to look, so yeah. you see the, the to, coloration. To, yeah. I feel like that's step one. Isn't it, besides put on rubber gloves? No, step one is have a really stupid idea and decide to go for it. Give me that beer and monster energy. Pour both in my mouth at the same time. I'm gonna get ready for this piercing. I'm grateful that it weren't any like grotesque pus bacteria filled ones. Oh, I'm sure there are out there. I don't but wanna just not see in this them. I'm just glad for that, because that's the stuff I really get grossed out at. Yeah. However, the neck one, ugh. That one was just someone didn't know what they were doing at and the, all. And there's some poor high school girl walking out with a needle stuck in her ear flesh. Yeah, I still don't know. Like, I don't know if that was a gun and like the thing got stuck or if it was an actual needle and then it just like disappeared into her skin. But the moral story is don't be stupid. Go someplace where there's a professional who clearly knows what they're doing. And not Claire's. If you have any other videos that you've seen, Pearson fail videos online that you would want us to react to, mostly him, just because I've pretty much seen everything at this point, so. Awesome. Nothing well, That doesn't mean me that out. I get it by default. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's not the rules. This is what the people want. They How do you want, know? They wanted a Pearson reaction video. I can't really give a reaction, but you can. Awesome, that doesn't mean it's good. Sure it is. Leave them in the comments below if you have any links you would want us to react to. We will take a look at it for future videos. Also, a special thanks to my boyfriend here, Luke, for joining me on this video. Meh. Would you like to go ahead and talk about your channel some? Maybe mm. the people would want to find you. I guess. I host a channel called Rocked on YouTube. It talks about all current music and rock and metal alternative, things like that. And I also go back in time and look at past albums, if they were good or terrible. A lot with band interviews. I do a lot of concert photography and I do top tens, the classic cliche YouTube thing. Do live streams with my friends, things like that. If you're into any type of music, rock, metal, alternative, anything in that 
total genre and subgenres, please check out my channel Rocked on YouTube. Um, Gretchen will leave it in a comment below, maybe in the YouTube card. So it should be right here if she pops it up. Please subscribe, that will really help out a ton. And leave a comment just saying Gretchen sent you, or you saw this on Gretchen's video. So that way I know me being grossed out actually did something. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button, wherever it may be, cause I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. No punching, it's bad. Also hit that notification bell, in case you wanna know when I upload, and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload, because I would really appreciate it. YouTube's so bad at that. And until next time, bye guys. Don't send more links. I don't want to do this again. Yes, he does.